What is going on everyone? And I'm back with another video and thank you for joining me. Today I'll be talking about the Browse Blades Division Folder. This is a, well, this is a video I should have done a long time ago, but I just uh, didn't have any time. So now that the holiday season is, is coming up and I got a little bit more time off, decided to put this video together and uh, show you what, what this uh, knife is all about. And I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but, you know, hopefully they can just, you guys can just add this to the uh, other long list of uh, Division Folder videos that are already out there. So anyways, uh, without further delay, let's go and jump on in and see what this knife is all about. So the Division folder ships in a cardboard box just like this, and within it you'll uh, you know get it in a plastic uh, bag, Ziploc bag, get a little Browse uh, Blades uh, sticker, and of course the Certificate of Authentic Authenticity, which uh, matches the uh, number of the uh, knife. In my case, I got number 131 of 500. And it also includes a business card, and then uh, another kind of a, a card that shows off uh, a lot of his other more popular knives. Taking a look at the handles, the first thing that's going to hit you are these extremely smooth carbon fiber scales. Jason Browse did an excellent job in sculpting these. Uh, I can't find any kind of snags or rough patches anywhere. Very nice, and it's just like a joy to run your hands across. Continuing on, you got uh, two screws that hold on the, uh, to the spacers and, uh, of course, a screw for the pivot here. So very simple construction. You can tell it's uh, completely flow through. Uh, within it, you can see it's completely uh, skeletonized on one side here. So it kind of further lightens up the knife a little bit. On the back here, you see the, the flipper protrudes a lot. So it gives you a uh, very easy access to flip the knife open. On the back, you do have a pocket clip and a lanyard here. Now I'm not too sure if these can be switched around. I, they may be. It looks like you can just take these screws out and just kind of switch them around if you uh, want to do a, a left hand uh, tip up carry. Got a bit of jimping on the back here as you can see. Very nice and uh, rough cut actually. So this is a uh, very very good. Uh, turning the knife over you see a little bit more jimping on the back of the blade spine. This stuff is a little bit smoother. Not as rough cut but it's still nice to have. And of course, uh, browse blade stamped on the, the spine of the knife, along with the uh, serial number here. That blade is D2, and it has a high hollow ground on there that makes uh, slicing a joy. This thing just goes through everything like butter. And uh, you notice how the blade is uh, sterile on both sides, which is something I like that's kind of devoid of writing. The only writing, of course, is on top of the blade spine here, as you can see. It comes to a nice fine point. Uh, it, it's relatively thick, but you can see it tapers to a nice fine point at the end there. So it's good for piercing and uh, has a little a slight belly on there to aid in draw cuts. Quick look at the locking bar. It is titanium and you can see the detent ball there. Uh, my lock came, uh, the lock up on mine came a little bit early, as you can tell there. But uh, And it was also really sticky as well to disengage, but uh, after a little while of working uh, with it, it became less sticky. It still makes a little clicking sound as a, as you disengage the, the bar, but uh, I like it this way, actually. So that means it gives it plenty of room to, to work itself in, uh, you know, with repeated use. The deployment of the division folder is very uh, easy and uh, smooth. Just uh, simply push down on the flipper and the knife is deployed. You can also utilize the little cutout down here as the means of opening the blade. Uh, this is uh, made completely ambidextrous, of course, so left and, lefty and righty, very easy. The Division Folder, just an uh, all-around nice knife. Uh, I love this knife so far. Uh, it is a bit big, but uh, it, it's, just, it's just very well made. And uh, Jason Browse has done an excellent job. And for the price point, you really can't beat a knife of this caliber. It's got nice, smooth uh, carbon fiber handles, titanium liners, D2 steel, and a bearing system for ultra smooth uh, deployment. Um, again, you really can't beat a knife of that price point. You know, uh, the unfortunate thing is uh, he only made 500 of these satin finish blades, and I don't remember how many he made of the black bladed versions. But uh, these, I believe, are all but gone. So if any of you are still interested, you're gonna have to scrounge around in the secondary market, meaning the forums, eBay, you know, those sort of places. So, uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them below. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching this video, and take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.